This story is called The Little Worm. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little worm. He lived in the earth at the bottom of the garden, and every day he went out to play with all the other worms. He slithered and slid, and slid and slithered. He had lots of fun with the other worms, playing all kinds of games. But there was one game the little worm didn't enjoy playing at all, and that was musical shapes. The worms would put on their favourite worm music and slither around. When the music stopped, the worms would make themselves into a shape as quickly as they could. They could make themselves into all sorts of shapes. Some of them could even make a star shape. But the little worm was sad, because he couldn't make a shape. When the music stopped, he tried to bend a little, but he couldn't make a shape. One day, the worms decided to play musical shapes again. But the little worm said he just wanted to watch. As the music began to play, the little worm felt sadder and sadder. His head began to droop until it was almost touching his tail. And then something amazing happened. When the music stopped, all the other worms stopped to look at the little worm. Look, they said, you've made a shape. Have I? said the little worm. What shape is that? It's a circle, they all cried. And the little worm had made a circle shape. None of the other worms had ever made a circle shape before. So they asked the little worm to show them how he did it. They all found it quite hard at first, but in the end, they all found their own way of doing it. And now, whenever the worms play musical shapes, the little worm always joins in. Hmm. Oh, yes. Red is a very special colour. Now, this lady is getting married, so she's wearing a special red sari. Ah. Red spots! Now, she's having this pretty red scarf pinned to her hair. Oh, she looks really special. Lady. One morning, a little rain cloud woke up and found she was all alone. Will you play with me? She asked the blue sky. I'm the blue sky. You're just a little rain cloud. Go and ask the sun, said the blue sky. But the rain cloud couldn't see the sun. Oh, she said. Have you... Oh, don't bother me now, huffed the sun. But have you seen any rain clouds? Asked the little rain cloud. Oh, it's too hot for rain clouds today. Will you play with me then? Oh, I can't play with you. I'm far too hot, 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 hot. The sun got hotter and the sky got bluer and the little rain cloud looked down at the big wide sea. A wave rose up to say hello. Will you play with me? said the little rain cloud. I haven't got time to play, said the wave. I have to go up and down, up and down all day long. Watch out, here comes the wind. The jolly wind arrived. Oh, <laughs> you don't look very happy, he said. I'm all on my own and I haven't got anyone to play with. Oh, <laughs> we'll soon fix that said the wind, and he blew a great big rain cloud in from the sea. Hello, said the little rain cloud. But the big rain cloud didn't look very happy. I'm a lonely rain cloud, and I haven't got anyone to play with. No, I'm a lonely rain cloud, and I haven't got anyone to play with. Hooray, they both said. And the two rain clouds danced around happily and showered everyone with cool, sparkling rain. <laughs> and that was the story of the little rain cloud who didn't have anyone to play with. And then she did. What's that? <laughs> I don't know, but it's blue. <laughs> oh, it's a flower. <laughs> Ooh.
there's some blue legs. Are they the blue galoos? No. It's a boy with a blue mug. Now, what about this? Um... Oh, lots of blue toys. Yes. Oh, spots. Is that the blue galoo? I don't think so. Oh, it's a vase. She's putting some flowers in. Wow, more blue flowers. What about this? Any ideas? A blue... Bottles! But no blue galoo. Ooh, that looked like a good game, Fimbo. Well, I never pomp a tissue. Hello, Tissue. It's a baby. That's right, Fimbo. She's little, like baby Pom. Pom Pom. She's having her dinner. Is that her dinner? Where are her crackers? <laughs> That's baby food, Fimbo. It's easy for her to eat. Hmm, she likes it. <laughs> She's getting very messy. Poor kind. She's getting food all over her. <laughs> Tissues! It's like the box I found. Where's all the food gone? In the tissue. Like Pom Sneasel. The tissue caught it. Oh, tissues are very good at cleaning things up. See, she's wiping her hands and the baby's hands. All clean now. 